Good day everyone. Okay, so in this video, we will talk about the world population. So this is the continuation of our discussion in patterns and numbers in nature and the world. So mathematics used to model a population growth with the formula A is equal to P times E raised to RT. So yun yung pagbasa ng formula. A is equal to P times E raised to RT. Where A is the size of population after it grows, or A is the future population, P is the initial uh, number of people, R here is the rate of growth or the growth rate, and T is the time or the period, and we have here E the constant uh, this is the Euler's constant with, a, with an approximately value of 2.71828. Okay. So this uh, will be the, uh, the model population cross with this uh, formula. So ito yung formula ng um, world population or the exponential growth. Okay. So let's have an example. So the exponential growth model, uh, A is equal to 30 times e raised to 0 0.0 t describes the population of a city in the philippines in thousands e years after 1995 so the question here what was the population of the city in 1995 and what will be the population in 2017 so dalawa yung magiging uh, dalawa yung sasagutan natin dito population of the city in 1995 and then what will be the population in 2017. Okay. So first question, what was the population of the city in 1995? Since our exponential growth model describes the population t years after 1995, we let t is equal to 0 and then solve for a. So since wala naman ditong nakalagay kung ilang years after 1995, so we let t is equal to 0. Then, yung gagamitin natin exponential growth model, we have here the given A is equal to um, 30 times A times E raised to 0 0.02 times T. So, yun yung gagamitin natin because given na siya. Okay? Given na siya sa, uh, sa problem. Then, substitute uh, the missing term. So, we have E which is the Euler's constant with uh, 2.71828 and t is time we have here t is equal to zero so we are going to replace um, t with the value of zero then simplify so 0 0.02 uh, times zero we have zero so any number raised to zero the answer here is one so if you're going to simplify this one ito we have here one so if you uh, input that uh, or yes if you input that in the uh, in your calculator 2.71828 raised to 0 is equivalent to 1. So therefore uh, the future population is 30,000. So the the population of the city in the year 1995 is 30,000. So bakit naging 30,000 is is 30 lang naman to because according to the problem that the population of the city in the Philippines in thousands. So, you need to multiply kung ano yung sagot nyo dito by, uh, by 1,000. So, if you multiply 30 by 1,000, we have here 30,000. Next, what will be the population in 2017? Since the given uh, year here is 2017, first thing na gagawin nyo is you need to subtract 1995 to 2017. So thus, if you subtract 2017 to 1995, we have here the time period is equal to 22. So let's now solve for the population A in 2017. So given again the uh, exponential growth model, which is A is equal to 30 times E raised to 0 0.02 T, then substitute the uh, given 
a is equal to so we have again 2.7182a uh, raised to 0 0.02 then we have here the value of t replace t with 22 so replace t with 22 then if you multiply 0 0.02 times 22 we have 0 0.44 then if you put this in a calculator so 2.71828 raised to 0 0.44 this is equivalent to 1.55271 then multiply it by 30 which is our present population so therefore we have um, a is equal to 46.5813 then multiply it again by 1000 so if you multiply it by 1000 therefore the um, the population of uh, the population in 2017 will be 46,581 Okay So, kung, kung wala kayong calculator Just move the uh, The decimal uh, point uh, Papunta sa right Three decimal places So, we have here So, hindi ko na sinali si 0.3 Because wala namang uh, Wala namang population na 0.3 So, it should be always in Full number when it comes to If you are going to find for the future population And then the present population okay so uh, let's have another example so let's um, find the missing term okay so dito gagamitin na natin yung formula natin na exponential growth we have a is equal to p times e raised to rt okay. so in the first example the given here are a which is the future population r and then p so, you need to find for the present population. Okay, so before we substitute the value of R, always uh, convert this into decimal places. So, how are you going to convert 5% to decimal places? So, you need, uh, you just need to uh, divide them by 100. So, kung baga 5, divide it by 100. So, ganun lang yung pag-convert. Kailangan i-convert siya sa decimal places. So, 5 divided by 500, so it is equivalent to 0 point, uh, 0 0.05. So, we have here 0 0.05. Okay. So, now, pwede na natin siyang i-convert. Uh, I mean, i-substitute rather. So, we have A is equal to P times E raised to RT. So, yung A, substitute the given, so, A, we have 3,240,000 and E, pwedeng hindi substitute or pwedeng ilagay na yung constant na given which is 2.71828. Then, we have the R which is 0 0.05. So, ito, 0 0.05. Then, we have the given T which is 10. So, substitute the given. So, first, formula, copy the formula. Then, substitute the given values. Okay? Next, simplify. So, if you are going to uh, put this or input this in a calculator, so it is equivalent to 1.649. Then, you just copy P and then 3,240,000. The next step is divide both sides by 1.649. So, ano mangyayari dito sa so 1.649 divided by 1.649? So, cancel out or divide it by 1. Uh, divide it. The answer is 1. So, 3,240,000 divided by 1.649. So, this is equivalent to 1,964,827.168. So, this is uh, this is our P. But, uh, since P is the, uh, is the present population, so you need to uh, round this to the whole number. So, you have 1,964,827. So, dapat whole number lang po. Si, si present population and then si future population. Pop population. Okay. Next, find the missing term. So, we have the given A. So, we have A, B, B, and then the unknown, uh, the unknown term is the rate. So, paano ba natin siya isosolve? So, using again the formula, copy the formula. 
a is equal to p times e raised to rt, then substitute the given. So, a is 520,000, p here is 150,000, and e, so yung e, as you can see, hindi ko nilagay si e, or hindi ko pinalitan si e, e as 2.71, yung constant niya. Kasi, uh, iba na yung magiging solution natin dito. So, you just uh, stay, uh, or copy e, which is the Euler's constant, then we have r, the unknown, and then p, which is 15 years. Okay, next. 520,000 is equal to 150,000 times e raised to so r times 15, we have here 15r. Then simplify, divide both sides first by 150,000 para yung matitira dito is ito na lang. Okay, so divide both sides by 150,000. Okay, so 520,000 divided by 150,000, so this is equivalent to 52 over 15. Okay. So, as you can see, we have 52 over 15 is equal to e raised to 15r. So, meron tayong definition that when x when x is equal to e raised to y, so itong x na to, this, it, uh, 52 over 15 siya. Siya yung nag-stand as 52 over 15. And then, the, the Euler's con constant, we have e. And then, yung y dito is the exponent, we have 15r. So, you need to... Um, convert this into a logarithmic, natural logarithmic. Then, ln x is equal to ln e raised to y or it is equivalent to y. So, itong ln e raised to y, it is uh, equal to y. So, let's have the second solution. So, from this point, we have here 15r is equal to ln 52 over uh, 15. Saan to gare? Saan to galing na 52 over 15? Because we convert this into this form. So, itong 52 over 15, so nilagay natin siya as a natural logarithmic x. So, we have here ln um, ln 52 over 15. So, 52 over 15. is equal to the exponent y. So, yung y baga natin dito is we have here 15r. Same lang siya as um, same lang siya dito. So, kung baga nirewrite ko lang siya, binaligtad ko lang yung 15r is equal, is equal to ln 52 over 15. The next step is uh, you need to divide uh, both sides by 15. So, divide them both sides by 15. Para ma-cancel out dito si 15 and yung ma-remain na lang is si R. So, if you divide 15 by 15, this is equivalent to R. So, we have here, cancel out. So, 15 divided, divided by 15. So, we have here um, 1. Then, R is equal to 0 0.082. So, if you are going to um, input this in a calculator automatically, so lahat to na expression na to, this is equivalent to 0 0.082. But, itong rate na to, which is 0 0.082, you need to multiply it by 100 para makuha natin yung percentage. So, 0 0.082 times 100, so this is equal to 8.2%. Therefore, the, the growth rate for this given is 8.2%. Let's proceed to the next example. So, um, again, the given here is A is equal to 520,000. So, R is equal to 8.2%. So, as you can see, kung ano yung given natin sa kabila kanina, yun din yung uh, given natin ngayon. Yung kinaibahan lang dito is we need to find T. So, it, yung T yung nawawala. So, kailangan natin hanapin si 15%. Kung babalikan natin yung uh, next is, uh, previous slide. So, yung unknown dito is yung time or yung period of time. So, yung time. Okay. So, same formula. We have A is equal to P times E raised to RT. So, substitute the given, which is 520,000 is equal to 150, which is our P and E. So, you just copy E. Then, yung 8.2%. So, if you divide it by 100, so it is equivalent to 0 0.082. So, always remember na kailangan natin i-divide yung rate by 
100. So, divide it by 100. Then, the unknown is T. So, you just write T here. Then, simplify. Okay. So, divide uh, both sides by 150. But before that, 0 0.082 times T. This is equivalent to 0 0.082 T. Then, divide both sides by 150. Then, natira dito is... 52 over 15 is equal to e raised to 0.082t. Then, we use again the definition of the logarithmic or the natural logarithmic that x is equal to um, x is equal to e raised to y, then ln x. So, we have here x. This is x. So, ln x. So, we have ln x, ln, um, ln 52 over 52 over 15. Then the exponent uh, 0 0.082. 0 0.082. So, we rewrite ko lang siya as like this. So, we have 0 0.082. T is equal to ln uh, 52 over 15. Then, divide both sides by 0 0.082. Then, we have here T. So, cancel out or divide it so it is equivalent to 1. So, t is equal to 15.16 or um, we have 15 years. So, rounded off to the whole number. So, we have 15 years or 15.2 years. So, if you put this on a calculator, lahat ng expression na to, automatically you will get 15.16 rounded off to 15. So, this is how are we going to solve for the missing term using the formula A is times A. Okay, thank you and God bless.